Hi guys, I thought I would do an updated what's in my bag because the last one I think was over a year ago and I've changed bags many times since then and acquired a lot more rubbish since then so I love watching these videos like I said in the last one, it's all the little bits that people have like the lip balms, the hand creams, the receipts, the bus tickets, those kind of things that just tr intrigue me of the life inside someone's bag because a woman's bag is very sacred to them and it's just filled with very personal stuff and, I and it lets you know what kind of person they are. So I thought I would show you what's in my bag at the moment. I've just come in from shopping, I've not even looked in this bag so this is how it is. So the bag I have is this Jasper Conran one that I got from Debenhams. I wanted a bag that was this shape, this size, that I could just take around all the time. I really wanted to get a black one but my last bag that I've had for the last two years has been green and I wear it with everything so I figured why go for black when I can't wear with green. Then when I saw the orange I thought yeah I'm getting it. So I absolutely love this bag. It clashes with everything that I have which I absolutely love about it but it is gorgeous it's leather and I think it is usually 39 pound but I picked mine up for 25 in the sale it's still in there now if you want it so um, yeah it just looks like that and it's stunning so straight off there is no pockets at the back of this bag it's just a pocket at the front and it's got gorgeous like logos and whatnot but I don't think I keep anything in there oh I do what have we got So in the front of it I have an appointment card for the bank because I had to go change my name and open up a new account because I wanted to upgrade my account to the 123 account if anyone's interested. So this just tells me my appointment. So the front of the pocket I generally use for things like that, you know, appointment cards or bits. <laughs> to be fair that needs to chuck it out because that appointment was last week. So inside you've got the main bulk of the bag. You get a little phone pocket there which is like elasticated which I quite like so you get big phones in it. And then you also get a pocket at the back there. And another thing I love about this bag is you get this little, oh, it's got a text message. You get this little, like, oops. Get a little keychain to hang your keys onto, which I've just pulled off, but luckily it's not broken. Right, so if I just do the little pockets before the main bulk bit, which I know is backwards for some people, it's because I know I've not got a lot in there. So in the pocket, I have my phone, which I'm just about to change because I've just bought a new phone. So this is my Samsung Galaxy S1, very old phone. So that is always in there. And I've also got my husband's um, new credit card. He wanted the PIN number change, and so I've taken it to town while I was there, and I've changed the PIN number for him. So I'll pop that there. And then in the other little pocket, ooh, I have, to be fair, the only thing in that little pocket is some girly products, you know, for the odd time of the month. There's always a backup in there just in case, so I won't get that out, but if you're a girl, you know what I mean and you know what's in there. So in the main part of my bag, I have my purse, which I got for my birthday last year, and I love this purse. Once you go for a big purse, you can never go back down to a small purse because... If you have one, you'll just understand because you just fill it up with so much stuff and then you cannot downsize afterwards. So in here, I just have all my cards. So I have all my bank cards and like Tesco, like food shopping. So like Tesco and Sainsbury's club cards, joint card, uh, card, like normal card and my driving license, which I need to get changed into a new name. And then on this side, I have all my store cards. And I don't have store cards in terms of credit cards. These are just like points. So I've got like Boots, Superdrug, Body Shop, Debenhams, Holland and Barrett, and a Matalan card. And then in here is just like excess cards. Like I think I had Riley's because I used to play at snooker quite a bit. I've got my dentist appointment in there. Oh god, when is that? It's not till May, we're alright. Um, JTF and some like loyalty cards for like local restaurants. Then in that little, I've got like a little gap in there as well. I think I've got a couple of receipts in there. And then this is the bit where I stick all my notes and things like that then in the front compartment this is why you can never go for a small purse i have two pockets and then a zip so this is where i tend to stick receipts when i'm buying things i'll just slot them in there with my change or i've got again a costa coffee card receipts oh 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 i'm open I'm, I'm assuming those Dev devon's gift cards have run out but vouchers as well i stick I tend to stick vouchers here, like boots vouchers and uh -huh. 
I've got Miss Budget Beauty's business card in there. <laughs> so I've got things like, yeah, Costa Coffee, Boots Vouchers, Receipts, and my hair appointment. So that's where I get my hair done. And then in the front, I sometimes stick smaller notes when I can't be bothered. More vouchers, like number seven and things like that, and more receipts. So this is like the, the rubbish bit of it. And then all my coins go in there. But I love this purse. It comes from a shop called Peach. But it's one of those shops where if you buy it one week, it's not there the next. You only ever get like one or two of each one. But I absolutely love that purse. Also in here, next up are my gloves. I got these for Christmas and I take these with me everywhere and they are amazing. My mum got these off eBay actually. Um, they're just leather, well, leather feel gloves and inside they're completely furry all the way through, all the way to the fingertips. So they're so warm and I love those and they fit perfectly in my bag so I just take them everywhere. I've also got a little packet of tissues just because it's that kind of year that I keep getting runny noses but I just think they're so cute and you, they're, they're, you can get four packets of these for 65p from Primark but they're quite cute because they're little and they fit in your handbag I also have oh god I've got like three lots of paracetamol packets I think it's just because I was emptying them and I just put them about as easy I don't generally take a lot of pills or have a lot of headaches but these have just been floating around in my bag just from various bags where I've just put them here so if you've got a headache I'm prepared I also carry around an options hot chocolate because you never know when you're at, you know, you need one because I go to Slimming World every Thursday and I generally like take me on hot chocolate but I think that's just been lingering in my bag for a while because I was taking it back and forward from work so if ever you need a hot chocolate, yeah, you might as well keep an options in your bag. Good option. I then have two packs of chewing gum because I bought a multi pack so I left two at work and I just have two in my bag which I'm not opened yet so these are just the Ruby's extra. I have a penny because every bag has the odd penny at the bottom. And two lip products I have, I've got the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Honey, which just looks like that. It's a very sort of, you know, lippy kind of colour. And I love these. And then I've got a new one, which is the Benefit Talk Flirty Lipstick, which is that, which I'm actually wearing at the moment, and I really, really like that. So that's just in my bag. And then the last thing is I have a lip balm, and this one's the balmy one. You can get these from Boots. And a lovely subscriber, Emma, sent me this for Christmas last year. Oh, it smells so nice. This is mint. And yeah, these are absolutely great. Um, I don't know if you've got a small bag, they can take up a little bit of room, but mine just rolls around at the bottom. But these are great. You just sort of put them on like that. So yeah, you've got to have a lip balm in your bag at all times. So that goes in there. And just so you can see, that is the inside lining of the bag. It's just got sort of Jasper, Conrad kind of stuff, but it is quite a big bag. For a small bag, you can get so much in this bag. So yeah, that is everything in my bag. I've put it all back in now, and this bag can take quite a lot. I can get a lot more in there. I've had my Kindle in here as well, so yeah, really, really good bag. Absolutely love it. I love bags that you can just put across your body, because I just fling them on and I'm off. So it leaves me with my arms free, so I absolutely love that bag, and yeah, that's everything in it, so... Nothing more I can say really, so I will see you in my next video. Bye!